That's right, my friends. We got a brand new tool brand on the channel. Skill. They've been around for a long time, but not here. But because a lot of you have been asking me to bring it to the channel, we did. This is the Skill 20 Volt Recip Saw. We're going to slice. We're going to dice. We're going to use and abuse. We're going to find out what this Recip Saw is capable of and what it's not. But here's the deal, my friends. I almost did not do this video. It is Halloween. Yes, I recorded this video on Halloween day. It's supposed to have a full moon. It's a blue moon. It's the first time in 55 years. And let me tell you something. There was some creepy stuff that I was picking up on this video. I'm talking voices. I'm talking sounds. It was just creepy. But because of my dedication to you, the subscriber, I pushed on. All right, so before we start the slicing and the dicing, let's talk about the saw a little bit. The model number for this RS5884-1A. You get the battery, you get the battery charger, you get the battery cap with the USB, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that means you can charge your phone or your tablets. And of course, you get the saw. Now, what I really like about this is the price. You get it on Amazon for $179.99. I'll put the link in the description below, but you get the 4AH battery with this. That's right, the PWR or power core 20 volt. Now this is the kit right here. I think it is very cool that they add that battery charging adapter for your phones or your tablets. I've never seen any other tool manufacturers send that in the kit before, so well done on that. Now it does take around an hour to get a 100% charge on the 4AH, but a 2AH you're looking at about 45 minutes. All right, let's take a look at, what the hell was, no, I done told you I was picking up weird noises. Maybe it's nothing, let's just keep going with it. Now you do get a five year warranty with this, which is pretty nice. However, the stroke per minute, you're only looking at 3,000 and one and one eighth of a blade stroke, which means it's probably going to take you a little bit longer to cut down through something. But again, it does come with the orbital action. All you gotta do is flip down that switch. It also comes with an LED light, which I feel was put in a strange area. I mean, it faces up instead of out, I don't know. But you wanna know what else is strange? Look how strange it is outside right now. I don't even know how that happened. Either or, let's continue on. All right, let's start the slicing and the dicing. We got a treated six by six and we got some lag screws right up there. We're gonna slice and dice. We're gonna take them right off. We're gonna try anyway. Well, let's get this thing going. We got the test area set up. The wood is ready to slice, ready to dice. And this is how we're going to do it. All right, so this is what I say. Let's start without the orbital, and then we'll do... <laughs> Let me tell you, friends, I'm glad I had that video camera going. That came out of nowhere. Let's see that again in slow motion. You wouldn't have believed it unless you've seen it on video. I should have known not to do this on Halloween. But for you to the subscribers, here we go. Non-orbital motion. So starting out, you can tell this thing's a little bit rough. And again, there is no orbital action on this. I am putting just a little bit of weight down on this. The vibration is not great. All right, right here you can see I got stuck. I lifted out a little bit and started up again. So definitely not the fastest. It did stop once in that cut. I wasn't putting too much pressure down. I was giving it a little bit of weight up on top, but it made a clean, smooth cut. So that's good. Let's move it over to the orbital action. But wouldn't you know it, as soon as I went to set up that cut, it started all over again. I don't know if I want to go back out there, but I have to. We got to do the orbital action. What was that? Let's just get out there and do it. All right, what I like about this, you can just turn the orbital on simply by pushing down that lever right here. All right, we got stuck once. We got stuck twice.
we got stuck again. So there were a couple of times where it just sort of stopped all by itself and that got kind of frustrating. So I'm going to try that one more time, but I'm not going to push down on it at any weight at all. I'm just sort of letting the saw do the work. So let's try that. All right, so just letting the saw do the work, it wasn't bad, it did the job, but it wasn't really smooth, it's a little bit rough, and you can tell it lacks some power. Remember, it's only 3,000 strokes per minute, so. At least the blade change is easy. All right, let's move it over to the metal lag screws. I wanna see how this cuts through some metal. Here we go. And that was surprisingly easy. Now that blade was only used once before on a couple lag screws, so it's still like brand new. Let's do it again. Man, that was smooth. Did a really good job on that metal on those lag screws. I was happy with that. Not a lot of vibration either, so good job. Now I'll tell you, that actually cut a lot better than... <coughs> oh. Oh. Right, that's it. That was a low blow. You want a piece of me? Let's do this. Show yourself. Where are you? Are you not man enough to face me, TRZ? Ah, there you are. Maybe I shouldn't have left my saw over there. I'll be honest, I wish I was in better shape right now. However, I am in the mood for a burger and a Mountain Dew. Maybe a side of onion rings and barbecue sauce. Not really sure why I keep running in circles. We've actually been running around for three hours now, and I realized that the safety was on the trigger, and Grubhub never delivered my food. I might as well just sit down now, because she's never going to figure out that safety. Damn it. Now it does have another feature. It has the adjustable shoe. You got the built in wrench over here. So it's not one of those flip downs and pull out and adjust and then lock again. You take this wrench out right here, just loosen up those bolts right there, bring it out a little bit, tighten them back down. So it's not the most convenient, but it is an option on this saw. The other thing I want to mention, it is a little bit wider than the other saws that I am used to using. So a little bit closer to the DeWalt in size, but it's a little bit thicker up here towards the head. As far as it goes with comfort, it's okay. You do got a grip back here. It is a little bit heavier than I'm used to as well. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this video up and tell you what I think about this saw. Quite frankly, I'm tired of getting slapped in the face and kicked into Yoohoo. As far as it goes with the Skill Recip saw, it's a 100% DIY or home user saw. If you were to take this out on the job site, I think you're gonna struggle. I'm just being honest with you. The six by six, especially the treated stuff, it just doesn't have the power to get through that stuff fast. But if you're at home doing some fabrication work, cutting through metal, or maybe some demo work, or just needed to cut up some wood around the house, this saw will work very well, especially for the price point. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check this thing out. But what's nice about Skill is that they have a lot of different tools that this 20 volt battery will interchange with. So for the price of this saw, it's fine for the home use. And that's what I'm gonna label it as, DIY or saw. Anything more, I think you're gonna be a little bit disappointed. As for the build quality, it's not bad. It's not that comfortable. It's a little bit wider up on the base over here. You do get some grip right here, but it's a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier than I'm used to. 
But other than that, if you're not using it every single day, I don't think you're gonna have to worry about it. All in all, would I recommend this? Yeah, for the homeowner. Again, I think you're limited with it. It's not as powerful, it's not as fast, and you're gonna be struggling out on a job site. So, for homeowner, yes, I would definitely recommend, especially for the price point. Professionals, now stay away from this. Go with something more professional. But all in all, not bad. Now, if you like this video, or if it helped you in any sort of way, we greatly appreciate if you could smash that like button. Also, get subscribed and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on the upcoming skill tool videos coming your way. And with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.